It took an Israeli military bulldozer 10 minutes to destroy Fadia Abu Jaish's home of 30 years. Their justification? It had been built without a permit. But then, at most, only 2% of construction applications are approved in the occupied West Bank. Israel's government would prefer it if the Palestinians just left. The house had been demolished before, in 1998, when I was pregnant. We were living in tents. There was a baby girl who was only a week old. They forced us out. After leaving us in the cold, they confiscated everything. Then we built the house again. Here we are now, again, living in the same situation. And then there are settlers, newly emboldened since the start of the war in Gaza. Settler violence has soared to its highest levels since the UN started recording data. There are now six incidents a day on average. Now, Israeli human rights group Bet Salem says that this policy of making life so miserable for the Palestinians that they eventually leave is effectively forcible transfer. And that's a war crime under international law. That it doesn't happen at gunpoint is irrelevant. This settler is grazing his sheep over Palestinian land. The Palestinians are powerless to stop him. A combination of destroying homes, preventing construction and encouraging settlers is driving Palestinians away. I'm recalling just like a statement that Ariel Sharon in 1989 said, clearly he was visiting, visiting South Africa that time. It was apartheid South Africa. When he came back, he said literally, you can't load people in trucks nowadays and throw them outside the borders you create a positive conditions to convince them to leave. And that's clearly what they, what they were doing now, implementing actually these days after the 7th of October. When the Palestinians are driven out, the settlers move in. This settlement began with one house 40 years ago. As it expands, it eats away at the Palestinian land around it. Fadia Abu Jaish's home and the fertile land around her is in the way of that expansion. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Furush Beit Dajan, in the occupied West Bank. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.